Nearby units advised. Witnesses called in a mugging. Need immediate response in Chelsea. How does it work? Just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... Yes! <laughs> hey! Hey! What do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But... but I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work in a secure environment at Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. They, they, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. I could do something to help Doc. Maybe call Harry. Ask him to talk to his dad. No. Norman never listens to Harry. He even tried to kill funding for his research stations. Hey, one of those stations is nearby. I should see how they're doing while Harry's in Europe. Come on. Empire Sanitation, this is Eddie. Yeah, hi. Uh, I'm trying to track down some items that were accidentally picked up from a dumpster outside my apartment. Dumpster number? Uh, uh, hang on.
Uh, six four four seven six. That's room thirty three. Truck's already left that shift. If your stuff's not there, you're out of luck. Wait, wait, please. This is important. Can you at least tell me where the truck is? <sighs> Let me check. All right. Looks like it should be at the municipal garage at Bowery and Grand. Got it. Thanks, Eddie. Municipal garage. Bowery and Grand. Not a problem. And I want to reassure the people of New York that I am providing it. Aha! I said it! You all heard me say we needed this. Are you using my idea of bringing in cops from Lake Placid? Hey, Doctor. Hello, Peter. I'll be just a minute. Wow. Look at all this new stuff. Where did you get all this equipment? Called in every last favor. Took out a few loans. It's like we're starting over once again. But this time's going to be different. You've been busy. Just getting started. You know, until now, we've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. Why restore people to what they were when we can make them better? Okay, I think that should do it. Ready? <laughs> Everything okay? This is all your fault, Norman, you son of a... Well, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. I uh, have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. <laughs> uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, D don't worry. Uh, why don't you take a break? I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. So, uh, hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of changing the world just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. <sighs> Add Corp to that and, well, it is a catchy name. Well, why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work... Don't worry. It'll work. Uh, let, me, let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. Be sure to run a diagnostic on the control unit. Could be a short.
Oh, why don't you do the honors this time? I think we did it. Next step, neural interface. That's a lot of work for you to do by yourself. Sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still... I know. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? To changing the world. Call from MJ. Doctor, I need to go, but I'll be back later. Don't worry, the work will still be here when you get back. What's that? Hey, sorry I'm late. Morning, Parker. Or is it evening? That doesn't matter. Check the neurosensors, would you? We need a faster response time. On it. Try to get it under three milliseconds. Looks like I could optimize this power relay. I got it, Doc. 2.8 milliseconds. Good work, Peter. I'd call that a mild success. I'd call that unbelievable. Do you need some help? Yes. Doctor, what's going on? It's become that obvious. My doctors call it a degenerative neurological disorder. Probably caused by overexposure to toxic chemicals in my reckless youth. Sorry, is, is, is there anything I can do? You already are. The worst part is, it only affects the muscles. The mind continues to work, but... it can no longer do. You're the only one who knows, Peter. I'd like to keep it that way. Of course. 
Uh, if you'd like to seek a position with more of a future... I, I came here to work for you because of what you've got up here. And that's not going anywhere. So neither am I. Oh, Peter, before I forget, I read the most fascinating article. Outlines possible next steps for the neural interface. I'll take a look. Thanks, Doc. What is this, Doc? Never seen this type of material. Would you believe it's for welding? Provides remarkable magnetic insulation and limits cross-contamination between the neural interface and arms. Man, I remember the direct interface with the basal ganglia. Exciting, but risky. I don't know, Doc. You'll need a gallium silk array to make it work. Even then, odds of injury are pretty high. Gallium! Genius! Never mind the risks. We'll work them out in time. Hmm. really sick. At this rate, he'll lose control of his motor functions within a year. And if we're not careful, an intracranial implant could make things even worse. Even alter his personality. We need to proceed carefully. Um, Doc, I'm sorry. My... Ant just texted. No worries, Peter. I was thinking of taking a break myself. As soon as I check our telemetry data. Thanks. I'll be back in a few hours. Hello? Parker! <laughs> just in time to celebrate. Celebrate? W wait. Where are the arms? Oh, wow. So cool. But how did you... Intracranial neural network. Neurotransmission speeds under one nanosecond. Faster than signals travel inside the brain. Never mind to an external prosthesis. We did it, Peter. No one can take this away from us. Amazing. And your work on the neural web was the key. But we haven't even tested it yet. There's so much we don't know. It works beautifully. Uh, come on, take a look. This is impressive. Hmm, little error, though. Voltage spike. Should be an easy fix. Doctor? Doctor, I found a potential problem. Everything has problems if you look hard enough. But fortune favors the bull. It's time to show the world what we've done. Otto, the neural web isn't isolating your motor neurons. It could be affecting other parts of your brain, your, your inhibitions, your mood. I just think we need some more tests. We've done enough! For the first time in my life, I don't feel like a failure. I feel like me. Otto, you're not a failure. But this could permanently damage your mind. 
Please. Right. Right. Don't worry. We're close. I'll keep at it. I'll work out some bugs. Go. Go. You sure you're okay? Yes. Thank you, Peter. For... For everything. Martin Lee is now behind bars. When I make a promise to this city, I keep it. The people of New York will soon make a decision that could change the course of this city forever. So when you're casting your vote, remember what I've done. We are all safer now than we have ever been. Liar! You have no idea what you're in for. Captain Watanabe, leave a message. Yuri, where are you? Call me when you get this. I just hope the Devil's Breath is still there. And still secure. If the demons got to that truck, this just went from bad to catastrophic. This is Sable Control. Boss is requesting a status update on Sutton Plane. Control, rooftop outpost under fire from demons. Problems. Rikers? We have to hurry. Hop on. What happened? It was a coordinated attack. Must have been planned from the outside. Every cell block is breached. We're minutes away from every prisoner and Rikers walking right up Fifth Avenue. What about the raft? Should be okay. It's a supermax facility. Better security and a separate power grid. Good. What about the Devil's Breath? Sable's handling it. Do you trust them? Do I have a choice? Maybe it's not as bad as it looks. Love the optimism. But in my experience, when it looks bad, it's usually worse. Look out! Ah! Ah! Yuri! I'm slipping! I gotcha. Hold on! <laughs> Huh. 
You okay? Yeah. Welcome to the party! Just in time for the fire! Looks like we made parole, boys! Electro? Why is he letting everyone out? I'll head for the main control center and see how bad the situation is. Got it. I'll go join the party. Everyone just quietly go back into your cell and lock the door behind you, okay? Please? Catastrophic. That doesn't sound good. with every criminal I put away last <laughs> This is too good to be true. Scorpion, can you hold on a minute? I was in the middle of a phone call and it was business. <laughs> Whoa! Come on, Spider-Man. I thought this was a chase. Electro, stop! How do you like my new suit? Dashing. Where'd you get it? It's an exclusive club.
final award. Stay out of our way. Each of you has a job to do. Your debts will be repaid when we're done. Go! Lies. It's over, Norman. Time to give them the truth. Can you pass us out for me? Sure. But they are working around the clock on a cure for this deadly disease. The citywide quarantine is being heavily enforced by Sable International, who maintain tight security over all transit points. Throughout the city, police and Sable agents continue to battle with Rikers and Raft escapees. Meanwhile, Mayor Osborne has gone on record blaming Spider-Man for the prison break and citywide sickness, and branding him a fugitive. But he has yet to provide evidence. And many believe the mayor is just deflecting blame, since an exclusive report by the Bugle revealed that this disease originated in a secret, unregulated Oscorp laboratory here in Manhattan. Mayor Osborne insists that Oscorp Turn is it off. the NDC on an anti-serum, but has not provided any further evidence to support this claim. Which means I have 192 non-broken ones. Thanks for taking care of me, by the way. The hard part was keeping you hidden from Sables. They branded you a priority target, you know. I humbly accept the honor. What is happening to our city, Yuri? I don't know. Feels like the end of the world. Maybe it is. Spider-Man, the Raft MVPs are back on the grid, laying siege to our police precincts. My men need your help. Now. Get to a vantage point in Midtown and I'll explain. On my way. Is it Octavius? No. Two of his flunkies. 
still searching for the doctor. I have to be honest. That one scares me. Might be the smartest supervillain I've ever encountered. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Hold tight, Captain. Let there be light. Whoa. Was Otto using this as a staging ground? Chaos of the prison break would have been perfect cover to move in. Otto's rage is driving him. The neural interface is exacerbating it, but his hate is genuine. He'll destroy the whole city to hurt Norman. Hidden markings. Otto's tasked the villains to destroy Oscorp holdings throughout the city. He's trying to take apart Norman's empire piece by piece. Seems like the last stage of the plan is a direct assault on Oscorp. And most likely, Norman. Lee's going after the Devil's Breath Antiserum, using something called Icarus? What's Vulture doing in Times Square? I need to keep my guard up. Electro's disabling Oscorp power plants. Makes sense. Rhino's targeting Oscorp shoreline properties. Which is he hitting first? And why? Scorpion must be trying to poison the city's reservoir. Another Oscorp-owned property. Hello, Spider-Man. We've never been properly introduced. I'm o Otto Octavius. There is no Icarus, is there? No. Martin needs no assistance to secure the anti-serum. Icarus was a ruse to get you into position. Into position? Huh? <laughs> now, if I was a mercenary dressed like a scorpion, where would I be? Behind you! <laughs> Me? I'd end it now, but Octavius is paying, and he wants to torture you, which I respect. Damn it! What did he inject me with? Whoa! What the... Is that... a sea of poison? Can't be! This can't be real. Must be the poison, but I can't take any chances. Gotta get to higher ground and analyze whatever he injected me with. Where'd it go? real or in my mind it can be both Doc? it's just the hallucinations intensifying you can get through this doc you sound like i did before the neural interface affected my mind my obsessions were always there, but the interface allowed me to fully embrace them. I have to fix this. Fix you! Somehow! Ah, Peter. Always trying to shoulder the responsibility, even when there's no hope. 
I can't tell you how many times when unfettered optimism has kept me going when things look bleak. I'll miss being with you. I really will. I'm sorry, Doc. I'm so sorry. Yes, yes, you're sorry. And yet, you let it happen. It makes one wonder where your priorities lie. I mean, if I was really that important to you, why would you let me destroy myself? I can help you. It's the neural web. It's affecting your mind. You mean the neural web you helped create. The hard truth is you did this to me. Without your help, I would have never done any of those terrible things. I should have seen what was happening to you. There's the Eclipse Atropine's gone. Well, not again. You're too late. Just as you were too late to help me. This isn't you, Doc. Ah, but it is me. The me polite society found it inconvenient. The parts of myself I suppressed. But you helped me break those chains. I'm sorry. I'll find a way to help you. I swear it. Stop deluding yourself. You never help anyone. The poison isn't in you. You are the poison. Everyone you touch suffers. Stop running from me! Let me try! I want nothing from you! You're a, you're a failure at life, love, career. You bring nothing but pain! No, stop! I'm not giving up on you! Please, just talk to me. I can help you. So you can treat me like all the rest? Containing me? Suffocating me? No, I will let my genius shine on its own. I saw you, Peter, taking notes and stealing ideas, a rat in my own lab. To think I called you a friend. I am your friend, Otto. Please! I've always supported you. I always will! Supported me by selling my ideas to Norman, by sabotaging my greatest works. Don't think I didn't see. Don't think I didn't know. Please, Doc. Please. I had such high hopes for you, Peter. Such lofty ambitions. You could have been a great scientist. But you lacked will. Always scattered. Always late. I tried, Doc. No. Stop! I'm not giving up on you! Please, just talk to me. I can help you! So you can treat me like all the rest? Containing me? Suffocating me? No, I will let my genius shine on its own. I saw you, Peter, taking notes, stealing ideas, a rat in my own lab. To think I called you a friend. I am your friend, Otto. Please! I've always supported you. I always will! Supported me by selling my ideas to Norman, by sabotaging my greatest work. Don't think I didn't see. There it is. The atropine.
the real lab. No more hallucinations. I think not. You're in my domain. You're just like us, boy. Trying to steal my genius. Everything that happens now is your fault. I knew you were laughing at me. All of you, behind my back. You begged me for salvage. Finally. I'm running out of time. I can feel it. I think I did it. Where'd my suit go? I think I took decontamination a little too far. I'd better put some clothes on. Much better. Let's just go ahead and forget that ever happened. Lee's pain, his anger, it's fueling his power. sample. You, Martin! Don't let revenge win. Fight it! This is the wrong way, Mark.
Otto? That look on your face. You can't imagine how satisfying it is. Ready for your final act? Hey. Hey. Where's Otto? Gone. I would not worry about him right now. He needs a hospital. No. No hospital. Feast. I need to speak to your head doctor. There's no doctors here. Well, who's running this place? Me, mostly. Oh, okay. Well, it's been a while, but I'll do my best. I'll need masks, uh, gloves, All whatever right. you have to sterile. Thank you. You can thank me by not dying. Oh, my God. He'll live, but he needs rest. They say she could go at any moment. Where are you going? I need to find Otto. He has the anti-serum. <laughs> Maybe you can't. Maybe Spider-Man needs help from his friend Peter. What? Peter helped build those arms, remember? If anyone can find a weakness, it's him. Go get him, Tiger. Did the impossible, Doc. But now I have to destroy it. With a little creation of my own.
before they mop you off the pavement. Tell them what you did! I... never... Everything you have is built on lies! LIES! You stole my company! My ideas! Now! The truth. The truth. Okay. The truth is... You were only ever worth a damn when you worked for me! The truth is... You could never accept that I'm better than you! You're a failure, Otto! And you always will be! Let me 
save the city. Then we can do whatever you want. I already know what I want. Now get out of my way before I really hurt you. you win. This means too much to me. Not more than it means to me. If you want to change the world, you have to be the kind of man who can make the hardest decisions. 
I couldn't agree more. saw you as a son. I should have known you'd turn on me, just like all the others. Turn? Turn? I've worshipped you, your mind, your conscience, wanting to help others, the way you never gave up. That's because men like us have a duty, a responsibility. To use our talents in the service of others. Even if they don't appreciate it. We have to do what's best for those beneath us. Whether they understand it or not. No, you're wrong! You are everything I wanted to be! You just threw it away! Yes, of course. You're right, Peter. Oh. I see that now. The neural interface affected my mind. But I can fix it. We can fix it together. If you'll help me. Do everything I can. I'll make sure you get the best help. No! If they put me away, they'll take my arms! I'll be trapped in this useless body! Please, Peter. That wasn't me. You said you'd never abandon me. You promised. Remember? And of course, you rest easy, knowing your secret is safe with me. You do what you think is best, Doc. It's all any of us can. Peter? Even when it hurts like hell. Peter, where are you going? 